Great Ayton's got a long history of flooding. It's from 1780. More recent flooding is in 2000, when about 70 properties were flooded. It sits at the base of the Cleveland Hills. As the rainfall hits the Cleveland Hills, it comes straight off there into the centre of the village. Very difficult to control it. Great Ayton has a river Leven flowing through it, and from time to time um, it decides it's going to flood and it does a lot of damage to houses and property, and it does do that. We had about four or five inches right through the property, which obviously caused a lot of, uh, a lot of damage to the, to the floor, and it was all new wooden flooring. We had to dry it all out. It did cause a lot of inconvenience. Following the flooding of 2000, we consulted with the community, and the last thing they wanted was big defences in the centre of a picturesque village, which is a tourist attraction. So we had to look for something that would fit in, that was natural in this environment. And we've done that working with the National Park Apprentices. So we've got the guys here, the, the apprentices. The grand scheme of it is to slow the flow and reduce flooding in Great Eight. Essentially, they start off, I mean obviously we've gathered the willow, but they clean off the longer stems. They're then weaved in between stakes that are all two foot apart. The waste is bundled up into faggots and then they're then placed in the centre of the hurdles. It's a living dam, um, it's, it's holding back the flow but it allows it to gradually seep through. It's 100% biodegradable as well, you know, it's completely natural. The next step was then what can we do to link in with the upstream storage and property protection was a good solution to that. We had about 50 properties that were impacted and about 50% came forward and said they wanted to go ahead with the measures. They had to pay about a third towards the cost of implementing them and the EA would pay the other two thirds. The Parish Council then administered the whole scheme and signed it all off at the end to us. So it was a really successful project. I mean, they did a fantastic job. And it's a job that loads of other communities could do. As you can see, we've got different barriers for different areas because local knowledge that the, the water runs in from the back stream, so we needed to keep it moving. But yeah, we, we decided to go with the scheme uh, and it, I, I think it'll prove very successful. We bought the house knowing the river was there, it's been there for thousands of years. But we feel better prepared now than, uh, than we have been in the past. It's been great working with Environment Agency. They've been very helpful, very accommodating, and they've helped us to produce a really good solution for the village. I would say that any community group that wants to take this forward should really seriously look at it. It is well worth the effort of actually having to do it because of the comfort factor that things are protected. This is a great opportunity for community groups to work with the Environment Agency. We'd ask you now to think about what you can do in your area and how easy it is to work together. We've shown hopefully here how this community can work and you can do that as well. Mm -hmm.